we we decided when we were you know my wife and i you know we had paid so much rent in our lives so when, from when we left school we realized that we've been paying rent to the tune of close to three hundred thousand in rent the two of us from when we left home at 17 uh, which, which three hundred thousand us dollars wow. in rentals go calculate your own rentals you'll be shocked at how much you've been paying and so we decided that we were going to do a catapult effect which was to move backwards before we move forward so if you Sometimes in order to move forwards, you don't have to run faster forwards. What you need, you need to move backwards slowly. So we decided we were going to go live rural, but it wasn't going to be that easy. First, we went and lived in a tent. We started a tent business. <clears throat> then we decided to convert a bus and then we put it in the rural areas. And when we went to the rural areas, we decided to give ourselves a year to study the needs of rural Zimbabwe because rural Zimbabwe makes up about 60% of our population. So we, we definitely believe there was a market there that was untapped. And so we came across this issue that visitors wanted to come to the rural areas, but they, they couldn't because they couldn't understand how, how to just travel to a random rural village. Like I'm in Botswana right now. I don't even know how to go to a random rural village. So I said, what, what if we created an elegant solution that allowed people to be able to visit African villages? And then we started to see that there was a huge demand. So we created an app called Rural BNB, which is like Airbnb, but for rural areas, which basically curates uh, as many rural places that you can go to, collaborates with the villagers to create rural experiences, and then creates these unique experiences that people will pay money for that will definitely benefit opportunities for, for rural Zimbabwe. So we're just a think tank, thinking of ideas of how to make rural areas, uh, you know, uh, better. And so we've started this tour of going around, you know, Africa, using my comedy and my cooking to travel around. And everything is coming together because comedy, I become a storyteller. My cooking allows me to create uh, cooking experiences. And my graphic design allows me to create more strategic rural experiences that are out there. And so Rural b, &B is basically that curated rural experiences for a modern, um, using a modern platform to allow people to have better experiences in, in rural Africa and not be ashamed of where we come from actually. Mm -hmm.